Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have the weekend's sales to show you guys today. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and we're going to show you guys what's going out this weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Right. So we're starting over here in AL. All right. Some men's Nike Pro shorts. Bought these at a garage sale over the summer for $2. And I accepted a $15 offer on Mercari this morning. Okay. So, not too bad. I think they had like a stain or maybe like they had something wrong with them. So, I was very happy with 15 still. I gotta be picky on my mailers. <laughs> baby Nike foam posit. Bought these off um, whatnot from dealing with Dalton mm -hmm. and I paid all in $15.86 with shipping tax and everything. Sold them on Mercari for $31 plus ship, so about $11 profit for Ooh. something that shipped to my house. So I'll take it. Yeah. Speaking of whatnot, <laughs> uh, I, I want a giveaway, oh, which yeah. <laughs> um, uh, if you guys know who Retro Rick is, he had a giveaway. He's giving away his $10 gaming collection, Nintendo 64 collection, and I won one of them. So that was, that was cool, considering there was like 12, 1,300 people of, the whole time yeah, and only like 40 winners and a couple winners won two each. Like, two yeah, two different people <laughs> won twice, which was insane. Yeah, that is. Um, that was that was exciting. Um and I'll talk about it a little bit more yeah. you know, when, when I do like my own kind of videos. I'll, I'll yeah. talk about that kind of nerdy stuff. I know not a lot of people like listen into that kind Including of stuff. myself, but I'm <laughs> happy and excited for you. <laughs> um, I did sell this Nike kids hoodie. Bought it from the bin, so I paid a dollar two that day, cost of goods. Sold it on Kitizen for fifteen dollars with free shipping. And I shipped through Pirate Ship, so shipping, Reese is being cute. Shipping is $4.59, was $4.59, so it was about a $7 profit. All righty. Mama said you're being cute. You just look like a meatball to me. <laughs> And sorry if you do hear some noise in the background, they are doing some construction literally <laughs> in our yard. right in our yard. Um, so <laughs> it's getting loud. We're trying to, to deal with it. It's yeah. trash day too, so they're kind of blocking all that too. We're, we're worried. It's sad if they don't pick up the trash because then it's going to be like, you know, Christmas is just a lot of trash. Then. Yeah. So we need those trash cans empty. You know? All right, I did sell this hat. You sold my hat? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> so this also came from the bins. I had $1.83 cost of goods this day. I sent an offer of $29 plus shipping and buyer accepted, so. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, that was one where I couldn't really find a good comp, so I just kind of yeah. made up my own. I think I started at like 35 plus ship and sent that offer of 29. And so. actually, uh, remember that came in moments after we restarted the sale. So like Kathy, yeah. what was it? The 17th? What's today? Yeah. Today it was like yesterday, right? I, I set the right. sale up. I was up. like, man, because you'll see like this is our whole weekend sales, I think 17 items. Yeah. So, you know, normally we'd have at least about 30, I would say. And I was like, why? I mean, it's the time of year. I wasn't worried. Yeah, that it's been much. slow either way. And I'm but... like, it's been so slow on eBay specifically. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, we didn't restart our sale because I noticed I had a watcher on something. And I'm like, that should be like 50% off. Right. And it was like normal price again. And yeah. So. <laughs> so did it a few days later than we normally <laughs> so did. We probably but probably caused ourselves to not make as much sales. <laughs> right. Okay. But I noticed as soon as I was setting up our tiers, that that hat sold during that so somebody got a 10 percent off so all right i sold these to <laughs> sherry our viewer a pair of men's columbia swim shorts i bought them retail arbitrage for 8.92 and sherry i had sent her an offer of 20 plus ship she accepted so awesome thank sherry, you, sherry thank you so much for the support thank you so much my manly mailers <laughs> super manly sons <laughs> maybe i should buy some manly mailers <laughs> what would you even buy i don't know do they make them <laughs> i'm sure they make some like um, like some with like saw blades plain. and <laughs> i don't know maybe <laughs> <laughs> some like axes and stuff 
Is that stuff. manly stuff? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever men like is manly stuff, I guess. Um, I sold these toy flats for twenty dollars plus shipping. Bought them for three fifty. A lot of bread and butter sales this weekend. Yep. Okay. Also did like zero percent work. We have I have listed maybe thirty <laughs> items this whole month. So. Yeah. This is also a reflection of that, uh, and I don't plan on listing a whole lot for the rest of the year. So. Yeah, I'm gonna we, hit it hard again in January. We were talking a little bit, and we're we're contemplating taking um, kind of the last week from Christmas on through the year, and not putting up any videos. Reese, you're in the way, boop. Don't grunt. <laughs> Good boy. But yeah, taking a week off from videos. This Benzmas has kind of been kicking our butt, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I just can't do any extra. Yeah, it's not Besides like we're doing going to the bins and then recording it. I can't like actually list anything yet. Yeah, because there's just no time. Otherwise, I'm never with my family or never right. going to the gym. Never doing all the other stuff I gotta do. Well, we were like at the beginning of the month, we were like, oh, we're gonna be able to like plan out next year, do all this kind of preparation for next year, and we haven't done any of it right. because of it. So. Um, not saying that it, we are mad that we did Ben's miss or anything no. like that, but I think we're going to give ourselves that last week, um, and not commit to any videos yeah. or live. We're not going to do a live on the 29th. Um, and then we'll hit it strong beginning of the year, I think. So All right. <laughs> I think most people are going to be taking that week off yeah. anyway. So yep. Yep. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did sell this Eddie Bauer sweater. It's been listed since last winter, so I accepted a $25 offer originally when I bought it. I thought I could get about 30 to 35. 25 still great. Um, I paid $6.99 for it, so. Okay. That sold on Poshmark. So I'm gonna put that probably in a medium flat rate box. Okay, B-E. You found your bed, Mr. Bubba. Good go, boy. Kid Jordans on Poshmark for 40. I listed them at 50. Someone offered 40. I was happy to accept. Those are kiddos. <laughs> it's a Christmas break in full swing over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. CM got a viewer sale. Went out to Brooke. Nice. Um, so the Peter for Rabbit. Purchase. Yeah, she grabbed the little Peter Rabbit. We listed this um, during my our live on Thursday. And Brooke bought it for $9.88 plus shipping. It did come from the bins. I had $208 cost of goods that day. Awesome. So thank you. Brooke, thank you so much for the continued support. Yeah. We appreciate it all. I am going to put that in a little box just so the book doesn't get all... I just have to find one because it is still first class. So. so question, would that not qualify for media mail since it has the doll? I don't think it does. So I didn't ship it that way. Yeah. yeah I just shipped it first class. But Another question, does a, a chess game count as media mail? <laughs> we got a, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> we got a Christmas present in the mail from an eBay or, and it was shipped media mail and it was, I'm mo I mean, I'm annoyed that they did that, but I'm most annoyed that they charged like $10 for shipping and yeah. then shipped in media mail that they probably paid like four or $5. So. And they also padded it using like, unused sure padded flat rates. Remember priority that? Priority shipping. And then they, yeah. Yeah. So that's a big no, no <laughs> for us, but luckily well, we don't know the person. No. We just bought it randomly off eBay, but yeah. Um, in case you guys don't know, those aren't I things just, you can do. Almost every time I buy anything from anywhere, it just comes incorrect. Oh, yeah. And did you say that they... They padded it with bubble yeah, bubble with, mailers. With like the padded flat rates, yeah. Inside of another non-one of these. So it's like they knew yeah. that those couldn't be on the outside. And then um, they shipped it for like five bucks or whatever from media. Yeah. Just like wrong. <laughs> but It's fraud. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> it is. It is. So... Anyway... <laughs> Back to you. So, <laughs> I'm not bitter at all, right? Be like our, I think this was the biggest <laughs> sale of the weekend. A pair of uh, youth size Superman Under Armour cleats. Bought for $6.99, sold for $59. So, Those are cool. Yeah. I sold a Batman pair in the past for about the same price. So I generally stay away from cleats, but because those were superhero, figured they would do well, and they did. All right, headed to AP. Some 
Deco Women's Sneakers, bought for $9.99, sold for $37 plus ship on Mercari. Okay. And those are going FedEx, so I will need to find a box. All right, a hanging item. It's kind of spins <laughs> miss all over the place right now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, what, what did I just sell? I'll get them up. Uh, I'll grab a box later. Yeah. There's too many things happening. Okay, so this was an Acris cashmere coat. It does have a couple moth bites in it, but overall it's in really good shape. Yeah, it looks really nice. I did get it from the bins. Um, it's been a while. I listed it really high to begin with just because he's retail for like, I want to say like three or four thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I listed it like somewhere between like 100 and 150. Wow. Wasn't selling. I mean, it had a lot of watchers, likes and stuff. It just never sold. So I ended relisted at 64.95 plus ship and then it sold in like a day or two. So. Okay. Yeah. Just one of those cases. I mean, for a Benz find? Yeah, like 209 into 65. So I think that's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that is going in a box. Oh, probably gonna do just like a mailing box. Alrighty. Got a viewer bundle sale going out to Christy. Where do I want to start? T. Starting in T. Um, basket. <laughs> and then DB. Oh. Okay, Christy got some Tom's Flats. The cute little buffalo you squishy. Know. I love him. That reminds me of that. There was an old Nickelodeon show, and that is reminding me of one of the characters from it. Yeah. Was it? Oh, no, it was uh, Ren and Stimpy. I feel like it was a character from a Ren and Stimpy. So, I'll beautiful. put a picture if I can find it. <laughs> and then some Spenco flip flops. So. Uh, Christy offered 73. I was happy to accept. I have a total of 1163 into the three items. Awesome. Christy. Thank you for another purchase. Yes, thank you so much for all the support. What do we think is a good box for that? Just like a mailing box? Yeah. Okay. CK. Some men's La Sportiva. Trail hiking running sneaker. Bought for $12.99 and accepted $40 on Posh. The laces, like they're missing like their aglets on pretty much most of them. So mm -hmm. I thought that was fair. I can usually get a little bit more out of this shoe, but for the size, it was a little bit of a smaller size. And because of the laces, I was happy with $40. Okay. Aw. Do like original B. Okay, box I. Um, got some Nine West pull-on jeans. I actually bought these off eBay for myself. They just feel super stiff. Like, I bought them because I have this pair, although the ones I have are a little bit of a lighter color, and they're just really soft and, like, stretchy, but these are not. <laughs> hmm. So I just resold them. So I paid eighteen forty six all in off of eBay, and then I sold them on Posh for 23 with discount shipping, so I'm losing a dollar something. Right. That's okay. Okay. Now I know I don't like them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was I? Oh, that was Poshmark. So, I'm going to just do a tie back. Alrighty. Shell for you. Sold this puzzle. Sold a puzzle? Yeah. The working woman, good fit, the puzzle. Oh, cool. Yeah. I kind of, not regretted, but like, I bought this even though there was zero sold comps that I could find anywhere. So. Yeah. I just love selling sealed puzzles. You started second guessing yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's it was a bins fine. So I paid a dollar seventy seven average that day and I sold on Posh for eighteen dollars, which was my full list price. So I'm okay. happy with that. Um probably just do I'll have to figure out because it's so square and yeah. those boxes all are not really squarey. Is square that a word? <laughs> <laughs> all right, lastly, key oh yeah. Please. Baby Keen sold on Poshmark for $35. Wow. Baby. I know. It sold to a guest buyer for my full list price. 
Um, I got them at Once Upon a Child for two dollars eighty cents. A really good sale. Yeah. Right. Very good sale. Yeah, just a little square box on those. Is is the square box too squarey? <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> but it's, it's in the closet. In so. the closet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a few minutes to pack this stuff up, and then we'll be back. All righty, guys, got everything packed up. You were you dead asleep like again. Like so twitching, like, <laughs> so stay. It's like he know, like his his new command word is "All righty, guys." Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh. you know, Christmas present, but you don't get it. Yeah, until, um, maybe the last day of Benzmas. Or something. The last day of Benzmas, we'll give him his. Oh, now. you're almost out of your gingerbread we have a gingerbread man. Gingerbread that our viewer got for us. Anyway, that is what's going out today. No other sales came in as we were packing stuff up. Um, yeah, we have had a few people asking when we're getting stuff listed or if it's been listed. And Mostly honestly, <laughs> probably not till next year. Yeah. <laughs> just just because of the way the year is looking out for us. It's the 18th now, so. Yeah, we're still throwing around when, we're still planning to move the inventory to a storage unit. So yeah. Gotta figure out when and then when we're constantly go, 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 there's no time left to do or even think about doing that. Yeah, so. yeah. So, um, that, I did want to mention, because a couple people were wanting this. Yeah, yeah, the, the what was this, a box? So I did go to like look it up and everything, and when I did, I noticed, I kind of pulled it up. Um, I noticed like most of the ones listed had this, like literally say bog on it. Like on, like a embossed. Yeah, this whatever. is not. Doesn't so, have it at all. Yeah. So then I was just like Googling how to tell if it's fake. And basically it was saying the real ones all say that. Oh. And what else? I mean, I did read when that it was non-tippable. So when I did it right <laughs> so easily. In the That's thing, right. Like, and you're like, it, it's not tippable. And then it fell so, right over. You know, I mean, I, I really don't know. I'm assuming fake now, but I like it. So I'm going to keep it. But yeah. I wouldn't want to sell a fake anyways. Right, and we did have, yeah, like Kathy said, a, even, a few no, people. We, even if I just listed it as palm leaf bag and not say bog or anything, I just don't, well, don't feel good yeah. like But I could use it for the gym, for swimming, and yeah. Um, yeah. If anyone knows anything different, let me know. But yeah, that's from my five minutes of research. I don't think it's real. Yeah, we looked up uh, uh, for a few minutes, and oh, yeah. it seems like fake ones say bag. Yeah. Like, look out for that. It'll have that little image there, but instead of bog, it'll be B A G G. Yeah. So the A, you know. I mean, it, it's just throwing me off because, like, yeah. for a fake to actually go through that process of putting those on it is kind of a lot. But mm -hmm. I mean, bog bags, the real ones are still worth picking up. So I guess if nothing else, you learned a new brand, hopefully. That, yeah, I had never heard about them until yeah. that point. So. So. Awesome. That's that, anyways. Everything else will get listed this soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But as for this stuff, we gotta get it off to the post office and yeah. go entertain the kids. They were getting rowdy down there a little bit, so we'll, we'll get going on that. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. We have three more yep. Binsmith videos to come out before Christmas, so we're gonna be working on that. And then, yeah, Christmas comes, and then we're, like we said, we're probably gonna take the rest of that week off. I think we're gonna record stuff, especially for like moving, we're, oh, we're yeah, obviously going to document yeah. moving to a, a storage unit, but... And I know you said no live. I mean, yeah, I don't I, mind yeah. if we do live. I guess it will just depend on... We, we'll see, because there's <laughs> I have family in town for Christmas that I haven't seen in a while, and, you know, I just don't want to make any commitments for the last week. So don't expect anything, but maybe we'll put something out. I don't know. <laughs> a little too teasy I don't know. um anyway guys i think that's it for today thank you so much for watching thanks for all of the support and we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye